Hey everybody, <clears throat> it's Eduardo here with your draft stream call sheet review and weekend preview. Okay, back to our regularly scheduled programming. The bird's the word. And G24, the homie, is back in the saddle. Now, all is not lost. This is truly going to be a four-day game. We've got a suitable boy on Acorn TV. Not really even dropping until Monday. A.K.A. late Sunday night. We've got Saturday releases. We've got Friday releases. We've got long shots and sure shots. We've got a lot to happen between now and... Monday afternoon. Don't count me out sitting here in fifth. We still have Mariah Carey special to drop tomorrow. Or technically tonight. Euphoria, which is supposed to come out Sunday night, actually is getting a surprise Friday night, dr Friday uh, AM drop. Actually, it, at the time of this taping, it's already dropped. Uh, midnight Eastern. I'm recording this at 9.51 p.m. Pacific Time, so I may be digesting that tonight. Lots of stuff going on, so sit tight. This is definitely just the opening salvo in a four-day war. All right, what does perfection look like, everybody? Well, it, it looks like a suitable boy. If you had the guts to play that. A suitable boy headlining or starting off the perfect call sheet. Ammonite headliner stack. Big mouth. Paying for points, not for value. Right here, Nick Kroll. On the board. Doing my drugs. <laughs> what an interesting title for a movie. I believe it's a documentary. Doing my drugs uh, headliner stack right there. And then an optimal stack of old reliable SEAL team. You know, I actually watched the pilot of that, and it was okay. But it was CBS, and it definitely seemed like a Mission of the Week type thing, and I felt like I could miss it. I'm actually surprised it's made it this far in a Season 4 premiere. So, shout out to SEAL Team Season 4, I suppose. And let's see what Jaybird's doing right so far. He actually does have exposure to a suitable boy, despite the Monday debut risk. I think it already had. I think it already debuted over on BBC One across the pond. So I think he's got at least an IMDb score there for it. Ammonite, I like that play. I've got me some Ammonite as well. Kate Winslet, Saoirse Ronan, headliner stack. Amanda Seyfried, the cheaper of the headliners in Mank. And that is looks to drop at midnight Pacific time tonight as well. And he's got a three pack of SEAL Team. It's good exposure and Sound of Metal. So this is a very this is a nicely balanced, a fairly well balanced call sheet. One, two, three, uh, three five figure actors, four others that are flirting with it, and then eight thousand. See, this is this is well balanced. Nice exposure to all the the headliners. Uh, the, the headliners of note. The headliners are going to score you some points. And it really was a bit of a balanced salaried attack this week. There are a lot of when I was doing my research and, and cobbling together the salaries, a lot of the same titles kind of clustered around the same general predicted score. So, so in a, in a balanced attack, you're going to want an eight one one type call sheet and as you can see with a perfect call sheet it's an 811 headliner co-star day player type of deal this week so even though like i said this is going to be a four day game jay bird definitely has a call sheet that at the very least is going to hang in on all four days g24 the homie gamble 24x7 just what's that 11 points behind nine points behind he has your Ammonite. He has your Mank. Doing doing my drugs. <laughs> okay. And also a three-pack of, of SEAL Team. Eschewed going with the 
optimal stack there with it. And then the Hardy Boys. Okay, it's on Hulu. I think it might even get some run on the C-Dub to try to trot it out initially, but looks like it's debuting on Hulu tonight. What do we have on the Hardy Boys? Besides a, a, a well-worn intellectual property of series of mystery books back to when I was a kid, like they were pumping Hardy Boys and Nancy Drew back in the 80s. That's how old that series is. Uh, looks like... Oh, so... I think that's off of one review, but still, 100 from Rotten Tomatoes. So that Google user score... That, so the user scores have yet to hit. That will be the deciding factor whether that vaults Gamble 24x7 up or keeps them just below the bird. Jaybird's second call sheet he added thirst here which looks like to be very solid value for your headliner money and then he still has that core of seal team which is smart and sound of metal oh and then he went a little bit bigger on ammonite added an act added an extra actor on ammonite for a eh, decent value right there Let's see what else we got. Oh, yeah. Well, I think we briefly took a look at my call sheet. Yeah, Mariah Carey. Come through. Come through, Mimi. Come through. And it's also Apple TV+. Plus. So even though we know Mariah can be a bit much and she can be a little cheesy, but she really does lean into the holidays and stuff, it's probably going to be excellent music. And it's Mariah Carey. I mean, she's pushing 50, looks incredible, still has the pipes. Definitely knows how to entertain. Bit of a character. So I'm counting on her to come through. And same thing with Euphoria. So it's already out tonight. Uh, hopefully the episode specific. And, I th and what they're doing with Euphoria is they're not debuting the entire season two. I think it's like a two episode mini run for the holidays that they're going to kind of tease us with. So hopefully that interest and that and and Euphoria ended on a on a pretty much of a high note like it it, it it was pretty consistent but it ended pretty high so hopefully those good feelings will kind of flow through for this week's debut episode to get us like maybe a nine score on IMDb. All right and then oh and then and one thing I did do right I have it felt kind of weird or wrong to do it but i do match the optimal stack of the perfect call sheet of seal team so i've got that going for me which is nice so yeah so you all see me back here in the cut you know back here in fifth thinking i got no shot but i'm i, I still got a shot at first i'm telling you i still got a shot at first henner yyz are you waiting on some scores well all right so you're possibly waiting on euphoria Detention also. The thing about detention... Now, I used to be scared. I used to be scared of those old Netflix foreign dramas. But now foreign dramas is where it's at. If you do, like, a master call sheet analysis of it, your average Netflix foreign drama is clocking in in the low to mid-90s. So, this actually is not a bad look right here. And his scores should pick up throughout the weekend as more people discover it through the net. Even though it is, it could get drowned out by the Netflix fire hose of content, the content fire hose. Still, statistically, this score is going to jump by 25, 30 points. Uh, I like Sound of Metal, Hardy Boys, a bit of a mystery, pun intended. Just another Christmas. Now, this is just, now this also is going to be some solid that. Oh, wait, wait a second. Is it already a score? Oh, oh, this is Netflix. I'm sorry. I was thinking of the... I'm sorry. I was thinking of the other Christmas movie on Lifetime. Okay, so just another Christmas, foreign comedy. All right, so it's early, but 6,800 headliner getting you 105 points. Very solid value. Right. Chia and Godmother. This seems to be the albatross around your neck so far. Henner YYZ. Godmothered. Now it's Disney Plus. Usually stands for quality. But only a 67 out of Rotten Tomatoes and a 46. This is bad. 
So hopefully when this thing debuts tonight at midnight Pacific, maybe this will pick up some, some decent scores on the user side in time for Saturday to give you some hope or at least Sunday to kind of turn it around. This might be, and, and honestly, this might be, you know, kind of geared towards the kids. So the kids like it. Yeah, a young and unskilled fairy godmother ventures out on her own to prove her worth by tracking down a young girl whose request for help was ignored. Okay. I mean, I like Isla Fisher, uh, Jillian Bell, so I don't know, that's got a shot, but it looks kind of like it skews young. So, yeah, PG. Man, when was the last time I watched a PG movie? I don't know. When was the last time you watched a PG movie? <laughs> My world, my, my world entertainment and content is dark and scary. Unless I'm watching Borgen, Tak, Spin Doctor on Netflix. I'm, I'm really into Borgen right now. <laughs> In the middle of season two, don't spoil it for me. Uh, all right, and what else? And then of course, let's check in with the brown baby, the giraffe mom. What is she doing here? All right, so she's also waiting on Mariah. Cool. Waiting on Euphoria, good. Baby God. Is Baby God missing some scores? And actually, I started watching on the third screen. It's very creepy. It's about this guy who ran a fertility clinic over in Nevada in like the 50s, 60s, I think. And he ended up using a lot of his own semen to, f to uh, fertilize all these different women. So he's got like a bunch of just like... Well, they're not even scattered bastards because a lot of these women were in, you know... Uh, relationships or married or what have you and couldn't find a way to and, and I guess they, uh, the, the the guy's uh, sperm count were low or whatever it was and so he just, so instead of having them fertilized by like legitimate sperm donors, he just was like, you know, let me step in let me, let me, let me use my juice and just kind of genetically engineer some babies which 100% unethical, 100% illegal, and yeah, so I'm like maybe a third of the way through it. It's very creepy. I'm not sure if I'll finish. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so this is missing a Google user score and a Metacritic score. Can't say for certain it's going to get a Metacritic score, but the Google user score should help. So mom's, mom's laying in wait. We won't pass judgment quite yet on your call sheet, mom. Selena... Selena also might be a lion weight type situation. The critical reviews don't seem to be that great. Yeah, this is bad. This is terrible. But people love themselves some some Selena, and this helped it out early. And then it's going to come down to the IMDb user score, but it's way it's way down. I mean, obviously we know two good user scores can offset bad critical scores. What if this thing got like a 9.2 like by the Selena diehards? You're in the game. It's like a 90, right? But you're pretty far back. I don't know if... I highly doubt you can win this week, but let's see if you can crack the top five with all your your scores that are lying in wait. Alright, so low ball call sheet real quick. This is what perfection looks like. Four pack of your honor. So Sadly, Selena there partially for salary purposes and then also love weddings and other th disasters is your disaster of the week and it's cheap too so you had to offset it with a lot of your honor which also looks like it's performing poorly and i don't care it's but got brian cranston the premise seems interesting it's showtime i'm gonna check it out oh and for those of you who are watching uh this weekend reminder power book two ghost is returning from hiatus so looking forward to that yeah so so five stack of this and then offset by four pack of your honor and selena the series and so he's i mean it's it's early he's not quite running away with it but i like his chances g24 the homie going for that low ball bonus he's got a four pack and I guess this is an optimal four pack, an optimal stack, uh, an optimal low stack for, with uh, love, weddings, and other disasters. 
He's got exposure to Selena, so he's got half of the perfect call sheet, right? And then three pack of your honor, and then a day player stack of what lies below. So yeah, so he's running away with it. My feeble attempt, I do not have enough love weddings and other disasters so unless that makes a turnaround I'm pretty much screwed what lies below is actually going to stay this low because as it turns out after I set this talent pool in motion they rescheduled it now it's instead of debuting when do we have it? instead of debuting tonight on video on demand it's actually been bumped a weekend so so this score pretty much might kind of be locked in place for me i can't quote unquote improve on it or get worse really because it's just stuck there and then i got plenty of your honor but unless it goes lower i mean and by like a lot lower look at that differential 42 to 58 i mean you know i, I need i need some help help I need some help all right, so that's going to do it, everybody. I'll be back Saturday, sometime after 12 p.m. Pacific time, with your Saturday estimates update. Thanks, everybody, for playing. I'll see you all on Saturday. Holla at you, boy.